Hey everybody, how's it going? Today is a very special day on the Minecraft server. It, today is harvest day. So, we are finally going to cash in on our cash crop here. Um, got just about everything set up, but first we need to set up a little bit of machinery. And we need about 280 dispensers. Mm -hmm. which means I need about 30 stacks of cobble, which I do not have. I need um, about 14 stacks of string and like mm, like another 4 to 5 stacks of redstone, which I do have. Um, but yeah, it's going to take a bit to get ready here, so that's what I'm going to be doing. i got to grind for resources. I've been laying a lot of tunnel lately. And this is for our vendors. We finally got some guys to s to uh, do some trading with. Actually, I'm going to drink one of these. Oh, we did make it. So yeah, we got some guys here, finally. Uh, only took me five to ten hours to get them here. It was a huge pain. Because <laughs> um, every village on the Minecraft server has been raided or they've all died off and most guys aren't really set up with villagers either like a few villages I've been to didn't have a whole lot of villagers to spare so I I didn't know what to do and then I went to Arcus's and he didn't have many around but apparently that's where people have been getting them from so I went back there and he had only three and I just set up a bunch of doors and bred a whole bunch more for him so that I I wouldn't feel bad about taking his because <laughs> I didn't want to leave him with just one you know um, so yeah he's got a bunch of villagers there now plus I have these two and a track that goes to his place in case I ever need to get more or in case he ever needs some from me for some reason we can exchange and yes we got a paper trade so I, I kinda wanna set up a village for these guys but first I just wanna set up my paper trading business so I'm gonna get dispensers together alright so this is one of the more creepy places on the server this is the quad cave spider spawner and it is extremely dark uh, Y is level 5 uh, the guy said I could take some string from here if there was any and I did find some I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. I should maybe take just a little bit more if there is. There isn't. I got it all. Okay. Um. Yeah, this is the quad spawner. I don't know if I've ever shown it before, but I think you just. Hmm. Hatches up. Open, down, closed. Ooh, burp, excuse me. Light switch, that's what we want. And here they come. wonder if this thing still works. Because this was built a long time ago, actually. And, uh, Cave Spider's behavior has changed since then. Looks like it's still working. So you just kind of wait up here and they all pile into the center. And when you're done, you throw a damage potion down there and take care of them. Actually, I think it takes two or three usually. Uh huh. Anyway, heading back. Now, I do think making dispensers is the worst block in the game. It's like the toughest to make because you need a whole bunch of materials for it. But the bad thing is you need these bows, and you, bows don't stack, so you have to do it one at a time. Um, you got to make them one at a time, pretty much, and then uh, when you're crafting the dispensers, you have to drag, drag it into the crafting square every single time, and it just takes so long to get one stack of dispensers. And not only is it like a pain to do, but if if you're too slow, all the bows you throw on the ground are going to despawn before you get to use them. So um, you got to be quick. got to be real quick. 
And there they are. So we got one, two, three, four. Just about five stacks of dispensers. We're, we got enough now. Don't have to worry about that. To get enough cobble, I had to go caving for a bit. Got a whole bunch. Uh, got enough XP to get up to 30. So let's do... Okay, level 30 enchantment. I know. Still using this crummy uh, enchanting station. It's my only one. Um. Ow. Ho, 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 ho. Man. I think that's probably the worst enchantment you can get now. Um, I get it quite often. Uh, dang. Alright, anyway. Anyway, anyway. Uh, we're going to play around with something here. I still haven't decided what theme I'm going to do for the village. I want to try something with ice. Um, not quite what you're probably thinking, though. So, need some ice. Need... Need a whole bunch of so Well, maybe leaves. Leaves would be better if I have. Yeah. A whole bunch of leaves. Alright, and let's head out back to that spot where we started the episode. Oh, and it's raining again, of course. Always raining. Oh, thank you. <laughs> um, always raining on the Minecraft server. So here's the idea. This is what I'm planning on doing. Not just for this village, but for my main place on the server as well. Um, if we're just going to experiment with it mostly on this village and uh, as you know if you have ice near near a, li a light source it'll melt um, but when it melts I don't think the water flows right I hope <laughs> if it doesn't flow this might work it's hopefully we can see it melt um, so yeah, we're going to experiment with the village first, and then if this uh, style works out and it's cool, we'll use it for my main place too. Uh, but it doesn't melt, and t or it, when it melts, it turns into a water source, which won't start flowing unless it's updated. And then it, then it does that, right? So I'm pretty sure... Like 90% of my area here that I consider mine is water. At least, this is the biggest island I have. And since it's mostly water, I thought it'd be fitting to live underwater. If I can. <laughs> so what we're going to try to do, this is where an aqua or respiration 3 would have come in handy. But um, this is just a test to start out with. I am going to coat the ocean floor with leaves. Let's just do like a 5x5 five five area just to see if this even works. Oh man, this is going to be tough. Um, so maybe I'll cut for a second once I get this all all worked out. All right, so now we have a five by five by three tall thing of leaves underwater. We're gonna put signs just to make this easier, so we can actually do stuff under here. I think um, what I need to do now is maybe dig a trench all around this. I'm not sure. Um, the way I'm doing my base is gonna be a little bit different, also. So we'll dig a trench just to be, just to see what happens. And then on top of this, we're going to put, oh, that's weird. Oh, it's one of those cheaty blocks. Got it. Um, okay, so we got a trench. We're going to put ice on top. How's this going to work? Just a second. 
If I don't do it right, it's not going to work. I don't think there. I think we need. I think we need the leaf there, there. Like a checker pattern. I think that's what we want. Uh, like that and that. The important thing is that the whole ceiling is ice blocks. Otherwise, there's nothing special about this. All right. So we got the leaves. Then on top of that, on top of the leaves, we're gonna put ice as well. The checker pattern. Oop! I must have missed that spot. This is going somewhere. I'm hoping. Hoping this is cool. Okay, got that. Now we're going to go underneath and start taking away the leaves. Oh, the water's flowing this way. Darn. <laughs> um, hmm. What to do? What to do? I must have not figured this out right. Um... Yeah, I, I guess I got a line the outside with another thing of leaves all the way around. Get rid of the source blocks so it'll float down instead of in like that. All right, here we go. We got our air pocket underwater. You go in and out real easy. Um, hopefully <laughs> I got it right so that when I remove these, it still won't flow in. Okay, I think I did it right. Uh, the problem is we still have a ceiling. It would be really cool if we had just water above us, and that's what we're going for here with the ice. That's the whole idea behind the ice. I think we can have a water ceiling if we do this. It's nothing but ice now above us, and it's in that checker format, so when one ice block melts, it won't update the other one. And I think if we... Just put some torches in here. Um, it should start melting and all turn to water without flowing down, I hope. <laughs> and if this works, it's going to be really cool because you could just have these air pockets underwater however big you want and, and the air pockets are going to be my rooms, basically. And I'll still be able to do like custom floors and and have lighting. Um, I'm a little worried people will me make a mess of the water streams, but um, they would have to be trying, I think, because if it's all water uh, above you, there's no blocks that you can, there's no way of putting a block on another block, uh, so people shouldn't be causing updates unintentionally. Uh, but yeah. Let's give this a moment to to uh, thaw, and we will check it out. I think it's going to be neat. I think it's a good idea. Uh, if I do if I do the village this way, I might want to TNT the ocean bed a bit so the water is deeper too. Because as it is right now, <laughs> this guy, man, he just blew up. Now he's starved to death. <laughs> oh, I think you might need help, professional help. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, <laughs> it's pretty funny, man. Uh. <laughs> oh. Shed a tear for Milby. Okay, be back in a bit. Hmm, got some bad news. I don't know what happened. Uh, a lot of them were melted already, and then all of a sudden, the roof came down on top of me. So. Um, it could have been that I had an, one ice block touching another one somewhere that I didn't see. Maybe I messed up that way, or maybe I got a little too close to the ice blocks. I'm not sure, uh, but an update occurred somehow. I don't know how, and it all fell apart. So I think the idea can work. I just have to be a, very, very careful when I do it. 
Um, even if it doesn't work, like that still looks pretty cool. Uh, ice, if you're looking through water, the ice becomes invisible. So uh, having an underwater place would look really cool still. So, but I'm thinking maybe maybe with the villagers we should do an above ground structure and just just get them settled somewhere because that was a lot of work just doing that little bit and I would rather spend the time working on my actual place instead of the village so uh, we're gonna start working on our machine and that stuff's all grown again it's always always ready for harvest it seems <laughs> that is so much sugar cane but yeah we're gonna start on our uh, machine building for selling the stuff. Yeah, so since that water ID is a bit finicky right now, I still need to experiment with it some more before I do it. Uh, I kind of had to come up with a new village style on the spot here. And I thought about doing one of those like tropical floating village type things. Uh, but I figured it would look a lot like Beast Village, which looks really awesome, but I don't want to copy his style either. The, uh, I want to try to do something a little bit, like, you know, unique, my own. <laughs> so, um, another thing, another type of village that's pretty cool. Uh, it's like, uh, there's a stone wall. We're going to make it two blocks tall, I think. That's going to be the rule out of cobblestone but there's like a st stone retaining wall that holds the soil in from the water to keep the water from washing it away and then houses are built on top of that and then there's water like rivers and water between the houses it's hard to explain uh, I'm just going to keep this floating out of the water for now until I'm for sure set on the idea but anyway I'm gonna just try to create some random random shape to the terrain here uh, well for the wall technically uh, and then we're gonna build our building on top of the soil here and we'll be able to have grass and trees and and stuff that way too which would be cool and we are in river biome so the grass should be like that color Uh-huh, so I'm just going along here, trying to create random curves and that in in my uh, retaining wall here, uh, just to make it look natural. And i got to connect this end to that end, and this this one little island is going to hold our, our uh, important building here, uh, which is going to be a lot bigger than most buildings, I think. It's going to be about 20 by 20 at least, I would say. So we need a fair bit of space for it. Alright. Yeah, I just want it to look, look pretty random, you know. Give it character. And then what i got to do is fill... Well, I'll probably eventually fill it down all the way to the ocean bed, but i got to fill this with soil, there'll be grass on this, and then the house on top, or the building, or whatever it's going to be called. And it should be pretty good. And there we go, we have ourselves a nice little starter island here to build our building. To build the building. So... Yeah, I just edited the video for today's episode, and it's already about 20 minutes. <laughs> so, I think we're going to cut it here and just continue on next time. I know I said it was harvest day, but I didn't think it would take this long. And I'm sure building whatever we're going to build here is going to take at least 20 minutes. So, better to, to do that for next episode. Um... But, but I do have a surprise for you. I built something pretty cool. At least I think it's cool. Uh, it took me several hours, and I will show it to you to finish off today's episode. And I hope you like it. 
And this is it. I have completed the dual blaze farm tunnel. So the rail line to get to the dual blaze farm is no longer just nether rack. It's something special. So I hope you guys like this. I think it's pretty cool. Of course, technical problems. <laughs> it's not that complicated. Push a button and it goes. All right. I think I false clicked it or something. But yeah, I got this first room which I showed last time then it goes to here uh, I still might modify this a bit yet and goes to here and this is I really like this design this um, especially this part when it goes diagonal like this very cool so we have ice snow ice snow ice snow ice snow um, six six lines of ice and six lines of snow, which come together really cool. Then we got the redstone torches, which help to light up the place, and they also help make it cooler as well. Um, something else I gotta do is fill in some more land around here so we don't get zombie pigmen spawns, because they don't spawn on ice, which is a nice benefit to this, but they will actually... I don't know if I can prevent them totally. Hmm. Well, anyway, they're pretty rare, as they are. But yeah, that is the... That's the tunnel. Okay, guys, so that's the end of today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you again next time.